So now I want to uh, launch our, our Q&A session with uh, Larry Salvucci from Boston Centralist. Uh, Larry, I'm just going to take you off mute here. Good morning. How you doing, Larry? Good. How are you? Good, good. Um, so just wanted to introduce Larry to everyone. Uh, Larry's been a customer of Currentware uh, for a number of years here and uses our Currentware suite, which is the four products I mentioned before. Um, and Larry's an IT manager at Boston Centerless, which is a manufacturing organization uh, in Massachusetts. Um, so thanks for taking the time, Larry. Uh, just to, to start off, was wondering if you could talk a little bit about um, what your company's work from home policy and remote working policy was prior to uh, the COVID interruptions. Sure. Um, so basically we have um, a pretty tight control over our um, remote uh, abilities to, uh, to work from home and so on. Um, currently we have outside sales reps that obviously work remote at, at all times and they have company provided laptops. So that's one grouping of people that has always worked from home just because they're remote. Mm -hmm. uh, but as far as office personnel, we typically don't allow uh, people, or we haven't allowed up until this point, I should say, uh, a lot of people to work from home um, prior to us getting involved with Currentware because we had no way of controlling it or monitoring their productivity and so on. But once we got you know, the Currentware system installed, that obviously opened the door to our ability to control the equipment, make sure people are you know, being productive, what kind of applications they're running, how long they're running them. Um, you know, if they're doing any web browsing, where they're browsing, so on and so forth. And the reports that uh, are in the system are, are very in-depth and uh, show us exactly what we wanted to know. But um, So we were always tight as far as having remote access up until we got Currentware involved. Um, but we still don't allow it to, um, you know, to the, to the full office people because there are some people that have to be here physically, unfortunately, because of their, of their job responsibilities. But who aren't, uh, we provide them with a laptop and, uh, you know, obviously we'll put all the kind of where systems on there and tighten everything down and then obviously they can, they can take it off site and work remote. Um, so under the circumstances, we've had to, you know, kind of expand on that, as I said, but prior to that, you know, we were pretty tight on it up until we got current wear involved. Perfect. And, you know, how have you had to adapt during uh, COVID-19 with employees working from home? Uh, obviously, you're a manufacturing organization, so it sounds like some people are still coming in every day. But um, do you mind just talking about how you've adapted and maybe what the biggest challenge you've had is? Yeah, sure. Um, the biggest challenge for um, working at home right now under the circumstances is our VPN connection. You know, typically prior to this uh, uh, pandemic, we would have maybe five, six users at a time um, connected to the VPN, but now we've got upwards of you know, 15, 16, 17 at one time. So our biggest concern was bandwidth, you know, how much of the traffic were they be, you know, taking down off of our fiber lines? And would the firewall hold up? I mean, you know, because we've never really put it through that type of test before. Mm -hmm. So that was our biggest challenge, and it's, it's worked out pretty well, actually. We haven't had any issues, not going with uh, where the system has crashed uh, with that many users on the system remotely. So that probably would be the biggest challenge we've had so far, other than, you know, providing equipment and getting everything up and running for uh, mm -hmm. connection. Perfect. So, yeah, it, it sounds like the, the VPN constraints are, are out there for a number of organizations. Um, and, and how have you, you know, changed your configuration for current where given COVID-19 you mentioned, um, a little bit about the reporting and, and the managers asking a bit more about this um, than, than previously. Do you mind just talking about that a little bit? Yeah, sure. Um, so prior to the, the COVID-19, you know, we've, we've monitored it um, from an IT standpoint, you know, making sure people are doing what they're supposed to and so on. But now where we've got so many more users on there, it's hard for, you know, I have a one person that works for me, so we're a small IT, so it's hard for us to control everything. So we kind of pass some of the reporting responsibilities down to the department managers where they can go into the uh, into the, to the console and run some of the reports that are, are you know the canned reports in kind of where and they can see exactly what their employees are doing the productivity like i said you know as far as what applications they're using how long they're using them so that that has given the manager the, the tools that they need that they're worried about about you know who's going to actually work and who isn't so giving them those tools directly has really helped calm everybody down as far as, you know, are people actually going to be working from home and how do we control that? So the reports are a huge, huge plus for us. 
Great to hear. Um, well, you know, Larry, really appreciate you taking the time. I know it's uh, quite stressful for everyone. So, uh, you know, glad that, uh, you know, we're able to help out how we can and, and hope everything uh, at your organization uh, gets back to normal soon. Thanks. I, I appreciate it, Neil. And, you know, you guys have been nothing but supportive with, with us since we started. And, uh, you know, this is probably one of the best systems that we've ever invested in, in my opinion. It's, it's, it's done a lot for us, which is really, really helpful. Great to hear. Thanks, Larry. Larry wanted to jump in and talk about how he uses the Empire Manager. Uh, Larry, you're off mute. Are you there? Yep, I'm here. Go um, ahead. So yeah, just, you, can, you can educate them. <laughs> yeah, we actually tinkered with that because that was one of the things that, um, one of my pet peeves I've always had here, and any of my employees can, can, can confirm this, is I hate when people leave their computers on overnight or their monitors on overnight. And unfortunately, I can't do much with the monitors, but with the computers, I can with the uh, Power Manager. And what I've done is um, we don't oh, we don't use currentware obviously just for laptops that are remote. We use it for everybody's desktop as well. And if I find users typically leaving their computers on overnight, I'll set up a power schedule through the power schedule that it'll shut off their computer at a certain time, or if they're inactive for 30 minutes, it'll just power it down and put it in sleep mode. So I definitely use that in Power Manager, and it really does benefit. Um, us as far as like, you know, saving computer power and stuff like that. And it also works remotely. Anytime the user connects to the VPN, if we were to change any of their settings on there, it'll, you know, it'll obviously push those new settings out to the computer once they connect to our network. And those settings will stay, you know, that, that way until they reconnect and we would change or what have you. But um, so if we wanted to put a schedule on someone's laptop that's remote all the time and have it shut down at midnight every night. Once they connect to the VPN, it will grab that new schedule and download it. And then if the computer is not connected to any network or anything, it will still shut down at midnight because that's what the current web policy is that's set on their laptop. So I, I find that feature to be very, very, very helpful for us for, you know, for a variety of reasons. Perfect. Thanks so much, Larry. Yep, no problem. Perfect. So hopefully that uh, was helpful for you all to, to know how uh, another uh, IT manager who maybe is in similar shoes to you is uh, using currentware, but also configuring his setup and going through some of the challenges uh, related to the current market conditions.